you want to ask your boss for a raise, but you don't know how to go about doing it because he's kind of a tough cookie. Hey guys, I'm back to by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to create a cool little spotlight, like a like a tune spotlight kind of effect. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is we have this nice little scene here with this little street lamp that I just created in like two minutes, and we're going to hit Shift A, and we're going to search for a cylinder. Pop that bad boy right into the scene there. Um, I'm going to hit G Z to move it upwards a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and hit tab to go into edit mode. And I'm going to grab all of the top vertices here by dragging a box over top of all of them and hitting S to scale them down a little bit, like uh, maybe about that big. And then hit G Z to move them up a little bit like that. Just kind of trying to create a little cone. You know, so you guys can kind of see what I'm going for here a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to hit I'm going to hit a to select everything and then hit GZ to move it all down so that the tip of it is kind of where the um, the origin is that little yellow orange. Sorry, that little orange uh, circle in the middle there. So now you can see when we hit tab to go back out of edit mode and then double tap R, you can see it rotates around the, you know, origin point, which is pretty cool. So now. With that done, I'm going to hit um, three on our numpad to go into the side view so I can kind of see where this needs to go about this the, the height. So it's about right there. Hit one to go into the uh, front view. Hit G, X, and then we'll move this over here like this. And then tap R, uh, and then you can kind of rotate this like that. And then I'll hit G just to push it into the lamp a little bit. Um, something about like, like that. Nice. So you can see here we have this nice little... Um, thing looks like the lamp is like throwing up or something now, but what we're going to do is I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to grab all these bottom vertices and then hit G and double tap Z and then we'll just throw it into the ground like that. Maybe hit S to scale it up a little bit and then double tap Z, something like that. Very nice. Cool. Now, uh, hit tab to go back out of edit mode. I'm going to turn on smooth shading by going up to object and hitting shade smooth. Um, and we're, the last thing we're going to do is go to the material tab here. Hit new. I'm going to go to the render properties tab to make sure that we have screen space reflections on and then open that up and turn refraction on just for, you know, old time's sake. Um, go to the material tab once again and scroll all the way down here and you're going to see where this says settings, blend mode, opaque, all that stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to need this in a second, but what we're going to do before that is we're going to put our cursor in the top left until it turns into a plus and then open this up, click and drag it open and then change this one to the shader editor right there instead of the 3D viewport. Boom, with that set up, I'm gonna click and drag that away because we don't need it. Um, now what we need to do is we need to get rid of this principal BSDF shader because we do not need this. Boom, get rid of that bad boy. I'm gonna mix two shaders together here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do this the nice and simple way. Um, and we're gonna just hit uh, Shift A and we're gonna search for a mix shader. And then we're gonna do two more things, hit Shift A and search for an emission shader. And the, and the last shader is gonna be shift A, search transparent. There we go. And we're gonna hook those up and then hook the shader into the surface of the material output. Now you can see what we have here is it makes this look like it's glowing, which is kind of cool. But I want this street light to be a little yellow. So we're gonna make it a little yellow like that. Something like that, looks pretty cool. Um, and what we can do is we can click it and we can drag this factor up and down to add more emission and more transparency. What we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and down, go back down to the blend mode over here in the material tab and change this from opaque to alpha blend. And now you can see instantly, we can see through the spotlight, which is very, very cool stuff. So now you can see we have the ability to uh, change this factor up and down and make it more or less, um, you know, thick or whatever you want to call it. Um, you can make it like super opaque like that or you know whatever you want to see whatever you want to say uh or you can you know dial it back so that it's super thick if that's the style you're going for um i like i like when it's like i like when it's like that it looks pretty cool i think it looks pretty sweet it's pretty swell i'm gonna grab the actual light bulb and i'm gonna kind of see if i can maybe push that up and back into and back into the lamp a little bit um and then oh, and then we'll have to make it a little bit smaller and then push it back down into there and then maybe over a little bit okay yeah there we go okay so cool that's uh that's basically all that i wanted to do i think this is a really cool looking effect and it is very very simple to pull off so ladies and gentlemen that's how you make a little tune little cartoon spotlight in uh in blender that's uh some very very cool stuff hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoy you can also turn on bloom a little bit turn on bloom turn the radius up turn the threshold down maybe turn the intensity up
just a little bit if you want that little bit of a bloom right there. Um, I'm also going to maybe, maybe boost the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So there we go. Um, this little sphere just has emission on it and uh, just turn the emission value up and down. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you make a nice little spotlight effect in Blender. I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.